for joining us. Uh, my name is Sue Tarrant. Uh, I'm the managing editor of iCare Business Magazine, and we are live at Transitions Academy 2019 down here in Orlando, Florida. Um, and I am with uh, Luke Nuvolo. Nuvolo, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just mispronouncing it. <laughs> uh, Luke is the is the uh, global director of uh, the director of global R and D uh, for Transitions, and Elise Bioche, who is the VP of global marketing. And uh, both of these guys have uh, did a presentation earlier today, and they uh, agreed to give us a little a little tease as, as uh, to to what's coming down the pike uh, product wise. We're actually standing in uh, what's called the the transitions brand experience uh, section of, of Academy, which is one of the uh, one of the many cool ways that attendees attendees have been able to sort of immerse themselves in not only the the technology of the brand but experience all of the styles and all of the all of the different ways that uh, that they can bring the brand uh, to the ECP. So it's it's been great. So thank you very much uh, for for uh, joining us uh, thank you for today. Being all right, all right. So uh, the big buzz this morning was you guys did a presentation uh, introducing what's coming next for transitions, and that's Gen Eight, and that's the next generation of uh, of, of uh, transitions uh, technology. So uh, at least I thought. Um, I would I would ask you. You had said that the product uh, addresses basically the four tenets of photochromic uh, uh, performance. Yeah. So um, that's indoor clarity. Yeah. So uh, transitions donate is definitely fully clear indoor. Mm -hmm. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. Good. Uh, and then darkness. So darkness, uh, a very basic requirement on uh, mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. photochromic lenses. So donate is even darker than the previous generation. Wonderful, wonderful. And then this one is always a biggie, and that's responsiveness, the activation and feedback. Yeah, so you said it, activation. Uh, so Janet is uh, activating uh, even faster, uh, so uh, up to 30% faster than the previous generation. And uh, the big news is that on the feedback speed, so uh, actually the feedback is uh, three minutes faster than the previous generation. Right. So now your lenses uh, go back to fully clear. Uh, in about um, four minutes and thirty seconds, right. which is just the time you know to get your code out and then right. say hello. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's a significant improvement. You know, thirty yeah. percent is, a, is yeah. a significant improvement. And I know feedback speed is always one of the the things that that um, that patients want. You know, always improved, yeah. always improved. So this certainly answers that. Um, and then the last the last time it was the uh, the long lasting quality. Yeah, this is super important that the quality lasts for the period where people actually wear their glasses. Mm -hmm. Uh, and here it's also an improvement with a better long lasting quality, which means that overall uh, the performance of the, of the lens, uh, of genetic lenses, is the best overall performance when you take all together. Mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful. And now, Luke, uh, you explained a, a little bit, if, if, you, could, if you could help uh, explain here, the, the, the way that this all happened, the way that, that Transitions was able to get all of these uh, uh, performance tenants is through uh, so a, a combination of some new dyes. And some new uh, composite, a new composite matrix. Can you exactly. Explain a exactly. Bit? So basically, what we did on this product is really try to look at all uh, the ways we could disrupt on this technology, uh, and not just go into an incremental uh, improvement of mm -hmm. the dyes as mm -hmm. uh, we could uh, do in previous generation changes. So really, regarding the matrix, that's really where we have put a lot of energy and a lot of changes. Uh, I was talking about nano composites. Uh, so basically, you know, this idea that in order to combine uh, the two characteristics which are kind of opposite uh, of soft material for mm -hmm. the dice to move freely and a hard matrix in order to make all this to uh, have a hard and resistant uh, nature, uh, all that in one material, the only way we could find to manage that is actually to go to another company. And that means that you combine soft segments and uh, hard components into a same coding and they you find a way to get them to self-organize and create those zones which are going to be really for the dice and the rest which is really for the lens uh, to be durable. Right, right. And I, I think one, one of the things that you mentioned that I thought was, was really great was um, uh, it, in the past it's always been sort of a, a compromise. If you, if, you went, if you went darker, you gave it up on speed. If you went for speed, you kind of gave it up on the, on the dark side. You said this really, really you, there's no compromise, you get them both. Well, you change the, the level of the compromise because in physics uh, or in chemistry, you always deal with compromises. 
uh, where you gain some, it's mm -hmm. like in life, you know, you get something and you have to pay for it. Right. Uh, but if you find a way to be a game changer, like combining those opposite properties in the same material, then you just go to a different level uh, on another curve mm -hmm. of comp uh, compromise, and you can get to this uh, step change in, uh, in speed without compromising anything else. Uh, yeah. in the Wonderful, wonderful. And one of, one of the biggest stories uh, out of transitions in the past year or so has been uh, all of the colors, all of the style colors and the mirrors. So um, what kind of impact will uh, Gen 8 have on the, on the, the mirrors and the, the colors? Well, I think that's where the, uh, the innovation we put in this product on the dyes uh, comes to play. Um, because basically we have been uh, improving those dyes, you know, by adding different chemical groups uh, around the molecule with our teams in mm -hmm. you, you really have people who do fine chemistry, they redesign the dyes from really the, the upstream research. And from the beginning, we asked them to work with the equal amount of effort on the different colors of, uh, that we can put in the product. So in the end, what we bring with that product is basically a uniform uh, set of performances uh, across all the colors that we, that we will have on this product. So style color, color lovers are going to love it even more. They will love it, <laughs> for sure. Wonderful. So what about the implementation uh, uh, of the launch? Is this, uh, this is happening, I think, in the summer? Uh, yes, in uh, July mm -hmm. uh, will be the launch, mm -hmm. official launch of Transition mm -hmm. Gen 8 uh, on the iconic colors. So the gray, That's the brown, brown gray. and the uh, black green. Mm -hmm. And then a bit later, uh, we'll come up with all the other colors uh, that still need to be determined. But the good thing is that as uh, Luke said, the technology is working. I mean, it's such a step change that uh, you know we made it happen on all the ramps. So everything will come. Right. Wonderful. So we have a lot to look forward to uh, coming summer, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot more uh, opportunities to, to talk about it uh, before the launch. All right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you, and uh, we'll you, come sir. back with some more stuff from Transitions Academy tomorrow. Thank you.